tonight on Big Brother. Terry survives another round. But everyone in here hates me and everyone out there likes me. <laughs> Kath opens up about love. Yeah. I'm not looking for a big 50 square home. I'm not looking for a $5,000 rent. No, that's looking right. for someone to I'm love looking him, for mate. a man to say, play with me. And it's all too much for Elle. I don't like this game very much. Trevor has emerged as the house prankster, but in the early hours of the morning, Elle gets one back, much to the amusement of Crystal, Bree and Ashley. After last night's shenanigans, Trevor evens the score with Ashley. No. You've got a swimming lesson. Quick. It's time for a swim. Trevor! Come on. Come on. Quick. Please do it. I'm going to go for a swim. Absolutely damn good chance that I'm going to be narky today. Yeah. And this close to absolutely losing it From last, last night. night. Absolutely. Oh, you know the girls' early morning antics have not oh, gone yeah. down well with That's Paul and Terry. Oh, it doesn't, just... doesn't matter when we're trying to go to sleep, but when, when you're already asleep, oh, yeah. I nearly bit. I was. Um... I thought, no. Yeah, Pull exactly off. what I was doing. I came very, very close. Well, who was it? It was Ash, Trev, Crystal. Bree. And Bree. Yeah. If I didn't sleep, luckily enough I got to sleep. If I didn't get to sleep, you'd have seen Terry bitch face today. Stir him up, Tez. Oh. Stir him up. Nah, nah, bite my tongue. I'll back ya. Bite my tongue. <laughs> what do you think of the midnight antics, mate? Oh, I was asleep. You didn't wake up. Oh, what? No, I woke up. Yeah, it woke me up. And Crystal's voice? Do you hear that all night? I know. She doesn't know how to whisper. She sounds like Madge off Neighbours, mate. <laughs> or Jimmy Barnes, mate. Did they wake you up too, Tess? I wasn't quite asleep. But you know when you're drifting off and going? Yeah. And I thought, if I'm awake all night, I am going to be so cranky in the morning. Being post-menstrual, up for eviction, and awake all night. <laughs> they were in trouble, man. It might have been a good look, I'm telling you now. <laughs> what? Oh, here she is. What? The laugh-a-thon. You're in trouble, Ash. She woke me up. Huh? With the... Oh, everybody's getting cranky because we had a bit of a laugh. <laughs> One night of practical jokes in the Big Brother house. No. Are you serious? Who would think? Uh, we're also Deadly. very anxious because there's going to be another big laugh soon too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Who's angry? It's going to be our turn to laugh. Well, you're going to be walking. Who's angry? Yeah. <laughs> Is someone really <laughs> angry? <laughs> All day. Mike Trev doesn't get no. enough. <laughs> I know. I don't see the point in getting up just yet. No, you're in trouble. No, don't, don't get up you're just yet. You're all in trouble. Why? Because uh, everyone's having a sook because we had a bit of fun last night. What do you mean? Uh, we're so noisy. <laughs> we're so noisy, that middle bed's so noisy or not. <laughs> <laughs> Terry and Paul take the opportunity for one last soak in the hot tub before tonight's eviction. You got so much to look forward to, though. Yeah, but so What? Stay here for a long time. But you would like 
you know, you've got something out there waiting for you that you just so love. You? What? So have I got, got my you hair dryer? You don't know, and that's the best thing. <laughs> Just like when you yeah. came in here, you didn't know what to expect. You don't know what you've got. Yeah, true. You don't know. Yeah, but you know you've got your wife what and kids. Boys so are trying to meet you and all that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I freak out and run off thinking that. Well, freak out and run off and then keep freaking <laughs> out and run off until you enjoy it. <laughs> so it's you, all good. But your I just life. Want to say a bit you've got your life, that's certain. That's what I've got. And you can't say mine's better than yours because I'm married with kids. It's just different. Yeah, very different. Oh, you bugger. I'm a bugger. I'm not a bugger. Give me a hug, because I'll miss you if you go. <laughs> Even though my goodbye message is so retarded, yeah. you just know that we'll be... When we're out of here? Absolutely. All right? But we'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> Coming up, a shock exit. I was just getting really close to Christmas. Yeah, you were, Bella. You were done. Okay, which one of you thinks you're going to be going tonight? <laughs> Radio, would you like to get it over and done with? Yes. <laughs> it's time to go, Crystal. Oh! Come here. Come here. Come here. It's a double-edged sword, I know, mate. You're right, babe. You lose someone oh, you love, but you're still here, mate. You lose someone you love, love you. but you're still here. I love you. Thanks, girl. Okay. Oh. oh, I hate that. That's just too emotional. It's horrible, isn't it? I'm in shock. <laughs> Gee, that was a shock. Did you think? For yeah, me, yeah, yeah, I didn't think it'd be Crystal. I thought, no. not her. Mm. Okay, we're gonna. That's like another person that will just notice, you know, fully notice they're gone, you know. Yeah. Oh, mate, the chatterbox is gone. Who's gonna tell us stories? Oh. You're gonna have to step up. Mate, I'm gonna have mouth, to start mate. opening up a bit more. She was like <laughs> my substitute. Yeah. Little, little someone. You're gonna have to, you know, <laughs> you're gonna have to do Step more. it up, mate. Step yeah. it up. <laughs> I'm gonna go from being funny to just. <laughs> do you know what upsets yeah. me? Is that yeah. I was just getting really close to Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you were, Bella. You were down. <laughs> Move over. I don't know how you feel, baby cakes. Yep. Yeah, twisting, yeah. Actually, the last couple of days, we got on well with Crystal. We had a good chat. It was good. And tomorrow's just gonna be so. Pathetic. And you know what? Me and her had the biggest D&M all night last night. Yeah. Oh, you were sucked talking into the for people hours. Who, I was laying there talking to her, and I kept thinking I should because I kept saying to oh, Crystal, get your voice down. Crystal. I didn't hear you talking. Oh, 
everyone else did. Yeah, no, I was like, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal get you, keep, keep your voice down, keep your voice down. And then I thought, no, nah, stuff it, mate. It might be the last night in the house. I'm going to talk to her. With the girls' numbers dwindling to five, Bree speculates as to why Crystal was evicted. Do you know what I think would have been working against her? Is the fact that she was a stripper. Right I reckon. The word go. You're yep. joking. I reckon. I think the first I reckon week. Because not yep. not that all of society and the general public yeah, would accept exactly. that as willingly as what. As like we, I wondered oh. from as soon as she came out with that, how the public would take that. Maybe Chris has been copping a bit of press. Mate. In the kitchen, the boys come to the same conclusion. The whole strip of things. I reckon that did kill her a little bit, to be honest with you. Yeah, you reckon? It, it took away yeah. innocence, man. Because yeah. people, like, cause she's like, you know, she was, she's like the sort of the cute girl, like the pretty cute girl, but then she loses that innocent edge, and that's yeah. like... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Next, the queen of the pride. And you're very much that person for the girls. You reckon? Definitely. I'd be confident in your place in this house. Eviction night is always emotional for the housemates, and for Catherine, it's a reminder of the life she'll return to. <sighs> You'd be good for Nana. Missing the kids. Mm. You know, she's out there, could be me with the kids. Not that I want to go. You don't want to be out there, babe. No, I'm not really. And they're going to gonna be there, they're going to be there, they're going to be there. I know, I know. But I love them heaps. It's funny, it's like all the charisma has been just dragged out of this house. Exactly. Anyone who's all the personalities. Like, yeah, hey, just I bet on next that door. Jesus. No, you're not. She was like my surrogate little daughter, she was. Yeah. You know what? Like, really good. I think the reason to... She was for me. With Crystal, like, me and her were so similar. So what's Crystal start with? K or C? i I'll go and etch her in, eh? K for Crystal? Sorry? K for Crystal? Yeah. Don't put a C or she'll kill you no, when she gets well, no. out. I'll put a big K. Oh, he's writing the names. Right, the initials. When yeah. they leave. Oh, I've got to get my mind off it. I might go do a workout. Oh, it's Oh. oh, you'll get hot real quick, Smart. Nice. No, too you'll get hot real quick, Smart. OK. That's nice, isn't it? Is that all right, guys? Yeah. When a group of people, there's always one person kind of emerges. With Crystal gone, Merlin notices a shift in leadership amongst the girls. Sort of, like, I think it's very clear that Ryan is very much, in terms of, like, sort of, not a leader, but you know, for the guys, and you're very much that person for the girls. You reckon? Definitely, 100%. And I just wanted to say that to you because, honestly, be confident in your place in this house. But is that a bad thing? No, don't worry. And you wouldn't think it would be like Kat being the mother? No. But I suppose Kat doesn't really have the confidence, does she? Then. Yeah. It's just how it is. That's, a weird, that's like, an interesting observation, though. Yeah. I need some warm clothes. I get to stay again. I get to stay for another week. I'm here for another week. Well, well done, though. I think you've done a great job. Mm -hmm. You handled it well, too. Yeah, I feel really great. Everyone's crying. I'm going, it's because I'm a nurse, and I like, really don't need to get emotional. Maybe everyone's I'm crying. Nurse. Oh, in the oh, bedroom. Girls. I'm like going, everyone's crying. I'm like going, Nah, don't cry. I could see it in a couple of people's eyes. They weren't happy that I didn't leave. No, really? No, reckon? Don't look at that. One person was shocked. Don't worry about it. One person shot me. Person. I'm not going to say who it is. Hmm, really? Don't. This is Big crack. Brother. <laughs> crack. All housemates to the lounge. Crack. 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 Big Brother has called the housemates to the lounge to hear a parting message from Crystal. <laughs> Hi guys, well, I've been evicted at L. Um, I think you're beautiful. You're just so down to earth and 
I mean, it's only another two or three years when I'm your age, and if I'm half as mature by then as you are, well, I'll be happy about it. Ryan, um, what can I say? <laughs> Mate, we might not have agreed at the best of times, and we have had our confrontations, but I think that's what, um, you know, you can't, you can't go through life without it, and um, thank you for constantly disagreeing on things that um, I disagreed on with you. And also, um, I'm going to laugh for you, so... <laughs> and lucky last, Brie. Um, probably the closest I got to in the house. And, I mean, I'm saying goodbye for now, babe, but it won't be only a matter of a couple of months, maybe, a couple of weeks, who knows. And, babe, I can't wait for our friendship to um, just blossom because you are absolutely beautiful and, you know, you're so intelligent in so many different ways that you probably don't know that you're just beautiful, babe. And I love you. So, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Hey. <laughs> I, I thought she got people right spot on in that. Hey, and that's exactly what I'd say for Wes, too. I don't like this game very much. L voted for Crystal in last week's nomination. <laughs> I'm just going to say, oh, can I start again? When I, get my... <laughs> I don't like this game at all. Coming up, L's guilt. Um, I feel like I've betrayed Crystal. Can go I just say that I'm still glad, really, really glad to be here? Terry has yeah, made it through her third week of evictions, but is still not feeling popular with her housemates. Same club out there, Tess, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Have Everybody you worried? Everybody gave half a cent. There's no need to get cocky. I'm here and that's all that counts. Three weeks, mate. I have to say something yeah. about how, you know. Huh? So I've got to keep yeah, it. So then one in here hates me and then one out there likes me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just joking. Uh, just joking that. before everyone starts getting on that. <laughs> So Sunday night, Crystal's left and I'm sort of starting to realise the consequences of the decisions we make inside the house. Um, nominations are so hard and I nominated Crystal but that didn't mean by any means I wanted her to leave the house. And it's, it's hard and, and it makes you feel horrible because I'm about the reason she's left the house and I didn't want her to go. But at the end of the day you have to make decisions and I'm sort of having trouble um, coping with the consequences of my decisions. Um, I feel like I've betrayed Crystal. I feel like I've betrayed all the girls. I feel like, yeah. I don't have enough anything because I was convinced I was going the first week and I planned to be in here for two weeks. What did you? I said I'll either be first to go or I'll come second. Yeah. Oh, well, okay then. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. because you can either love me or hate me. Like, there's yeah. an aspect of my personality yeah, that people yeah, yeah. go, poor. Yeah. you know, and and that's and I find it I find it quite intriguing that I'm actually still here. Yeah. yeah and I feel for Bree quite a bit because I was speaking to Bree about this the other night. I think the two people that she connected with the most have I'd left gone, the house. Have gone exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it would be really, really hard. Mm. Mm. And, and, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, I think people see me as a sort of a typical Aussie bloke and I'm just a bloke, I'm one of the boys, you know, I haven't had a girlfriend for a while, so I'm one of the boys, so I get along with the boys probably better than the girls. But and I'm see, enjoy, I see, can I enjoy, tell you something? Mm. I see you a bit more than that. Yeah, I know that there's more to huh? you than just the goofy side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This sounds really weird, but with Ryan, mm. I look and I go, Oh my God, he's holding like back. Yeah. On, a, yeah, on a deeper level? Yeah. That I... mm. Excuse me. No, no I'm just eavesdropping. There he is. Hello. There he is. Do you feel that or not? Massively. You, you can be, one like, one? I, I actually rate Risey, Frizy, Frizy, as probably the closest. It's me a while to say For that. me, right, he's the closest personality to me. But, like that. but I'm 31 and I settled down at 23 yeah. yes. and he's still 
playing the boy thing. You know? And I'd understand. Yeah, I know you would. And I've got mates just like Fryzy, and I spend so much time with them, but it's always during the day. Yes. I just can't go out with them on the boys because I can't leave the missus at home with two kids. Yeah. You talk about Jenny with so much love. Oh, mate. And so it just makes me want to cry. Oh, how much you love her. It does. How much you love her so much. I haven't, I haven't said... How you would just stand by her. I haven't... And mine just didn't stand by me. Yeah. Aww. You were just... Just when you said the other day when we were with the losers, but it really touched my heart. Paul got up and he said, he, when he's off during work, mm. and he's he just runs after Jenny and says, "Play with me, play with me," because I just want someone to play with. I follow her so the simple. House. I don't need. When there's no serve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know what? Paul? Yeah. You know what? I'm not, I'm not looking for materialistic. Yeah. I'm not looking for a big 50 square home. I'm not looking for a $5,000 no, room. I'm looking for someone to I'm love looking him, for mate. a man to say, play with me. Well done, baby. <laughs> yeah, nah. She's here. Oh, I'm looking good. for a man to say, play so with me, and keep yeah. me company. Nah. I'm looking for well, that. Brie. Hi. Um, I thought I'd just come and do a bit of a diary entry because obviously I've been quite substantially affected by tonight's departure um, and I'm feeling a lot more emotional than what I expected um, for when Crystal left um, because I think I kind of came to the realisation tonight that Crystal has been kind of uh, my rock and um, my buddy who's always there, no matter what, since I came into the house. Everyone that I have the most in common with is kind of going. And um, I'm surprised at how emotional I'm becoming at the evictions. Hey, you get on that, you're off. Yeah. Get upset. Hmm? Get upset. Yeah. Yeah, right, though. Huh? Good sleep or not? Yeah. You're right, babe. You do, don't you? You do. You'll be right, babe. You'll be right. You still got Breezy and a couple of the other girls. Mm. She was more on your level though, Crystal, wasn't she? I know she was. Get a good sleep, you'll be fine. Give me a hug. You're so big to hug, I know, and I just hug your head. <laughs> good boy, Cash. It's okay. I just remember the first day I met you in this house, I was like, look how tall you are. Look at that freak. <laughs> yeah, you've always called me a freak. Where? He's got CD players. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm not happy with this empty bed syndrome. Hey. Night, guys. Night. Night. See you, Breezy. Night, Bree. Night, Breezy. Night, Breezy. Night, Breezy.